Joe Nichols, he had a rotor drill. You hit the ball and then you would hit the ball and you would rotor your arms back. So you'd hit and rotor your arms. He hated anything that had to do with the handle going straight left. Now he wanted the club head to release or to pass his hands and go around, but it's to make a swing and hit the ball and bring the club back. So you're just gonna make a circle. As if you're gonna make this circle, the handle slows down and the club head speeds up rather than the handle going faster than the club head. Practice that, go out, hit some balls, hit the ball, then, then just rotor the club back, just circle. So the club's just like going in a circle in front of you. So he would have me hit balls where I hit, 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 so I could start to feel so my shoulders weren't pulling my arms. Because now my arms have to free up and the arms have to be going independent of my shoulders. That's a really, really good drill. If you can, that's all I was doing right there is you're hitting it like this. So what's happening? My shoulders aren't pulling my arms. What do your shoulders do when you hit a baseball? He goes, nothing. He says your shoulders just stay and your hands and arms go and then your shoulders react to what your arms are doing. It's the same thing in golf. You go ahead and do that. The club's in front of you. Now just go ahead and, and finish.